Sam Davis here with samsphotogallery.com and today I'm going to talk to you about what happened yesterday up in the Peak District. So I went up to the Peak District yesterday to look for mountain hares. Now I'd actually done a photography workshop with Tess Wars last year in March to look for mountain hares and we had a really successful day. We saw quite a few of them and I got some great images. So yesterday I wanted to go back again and get some more pictures and get them in the frost and get some more slow motion video clips as well. So for this I rented an Olympus 300mm f4 Pro lens from HireACamera.com. It's a great way to get into wildlife photography into the higher end of lenses if you're on a budget. So let's see what happened. So today I've been using the Olympus 300mm f4 Pro lens. I've been using it mostly wide open f4 and uh, just locked in with settings at about a one thousandth of a second uh, ISO on automatic. I'm just using that on the OM5 here, so quite a nifty setup, just a single point autofocus in the middle, centre weighted um, metering, and yeah, that's about it for the settings really. <laughs> and I've just been using the, uh, the full HD slow-mo setting, um, which I think is about five times slow motion. Um, so yeah, got some really good little clips of them as well, which is nice. Top tip, if you're out, in sub-zero temperatures and you're doing some wildlife or sport photography or whatever you're doing uh, to keep your batteries your fully charged batteries in an inside pocket on your coat and that way they'll stay nice and warm and the cold won't call, cause the voltage to drop and so they'll stay nice and fully charged for you when you need them also you may notice that when you're doing your photography you might have a full battery for a while and then suddenly, you know, you might end up with half a battery and then in no time at all, you're down to no battery, beep, 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 but actually flat. If that is the case and you've had your camera outside for a while, just hanging around your neck, then what you can do is take out that battery, pop it in your inside pocket again, warm it up and that will bring the voltage up and you'll probably get another half battery out of it. So there you go, top tip for today. I'm going to call that a very successful day of spotting mountain hares in the Peak District. I just finished off with a, a pair sat together. I was so lucky to see a pair. I never thought I'd see a pair sat together like that. And they were just hanging out, doing the odd bit of twitch, bit of a shuffle around. And then I lay there for about an hour on my front, kind of waiting for them to do something. And they didn't do anything. I was getting very cold, couldn't feel my hands anymore. So I decided to sort of back off. Right, so there we have it, some really nice slow motion clips of the mountain hares. I absolutely love those slow motion ones. I think it makes the animals look great and you can just see all the little movements that are really nice to watch. If you'd like to see the photographs from yesterday and also back in March last year as well, then please take a look at my website and subscribe to my blog and I'll be posting those on the blog shortly. You can also follow me on Instagram, subscribe and like this YouTube video and channel. That would be great and also oh, you can follow me on Facebook as well, although I don't use that very much, but check it out anyway. All right, I'll see you all later.